What's up guys? It's Alec Mac 111. Merry Christmas. If you guys have been on my channel for the past four years, you'll know that every year I do a big Christmas unboxing and today is not going to disappoint. I probably have 40 guns and like more accessories than I've ever done in any unboxing. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good Christmas. This will come out a little bit later on Christmas. I was going to hopefully film it in the beginning of Christmas, but I spent time with my family. Um, Jesus is definitely the reason for the season, and so I believe that. A lot of you guys know that I'm a Christian, um, but just want to kind of throw that out there for the beginning of this video. Um, if you want to talk about it, we can. But let's get into this sweet unboxing. So the first thing that I have, um, I actually did on the last video, but I want to show you guys because I think it's important for the direction of my channel because I'm building a super cool stubby M4. So this is the first part of it. This is a Mad Bull Patriot kit. Uh, these are awesome. These are actually super rare. And so this is going to be the front end of my new gun. And then I'm going to build a sweet body, sweet gearbox, 40 rounds a second, either a Magpul, a Magpul UBR or Stubby full stock. I haven't decided yet, but either one of those will be sweet. I got my cameraman, Rob, hooking me up with all this stuff because I'm going to try and throw it over there and get through it as quick as possible. I'm also doing some B-roll stuff. So as I open this, so like St. Arms Pistols, the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to hopefully go over some of the stuff. So while I'm opening it, you guys will be able to see different angles. Try that differently. Hopefully that's more entertaining for you guys. So you kind of get to see more of it instead of just, hey, there's Alec and he's taking apart a bunch of guns. I wish I could do that. But the next gun is a St. Arms 1911. It actually is like, I think the dude used it once. Um, and it's brand new in packaging and so it comes with a card and then it has this this is the co2 version I have used I have actually still have a green gas one that I won in an evite unboxing and it's probably to be honest It's one of the coolest pistols that I've ever seen in my life as far as like stock um, Externally it does shoot pretty well. I'm pretty sure it's an aw custom because the mags uh, work as well But the externals look awesome. You have the sweet gold barrel um, you have just, just a, it's a little bit wide of a grip that some people don't like, um, but it's a very good gun. It shoots very well. It's very snappy. And then externally, I just think it looks so good. Those little bit of gold accents on, uh, externals, I think are awesome. I actually do have a little bit of a box here from tap airsoft too. If you guys don't know, they're one of my sponsors, uh, but they sent me a patch. So just throw on there. And then they sent me a t-shirt. So that's kind of cool. Like a little sponsorship. I didn't know you guys, I have a little bit of stuff. But it'll be cool to have t-shirts and stuff. And so you guys keep saying, Alec, why don't you get sponsored? So I kind of reached out to some companies and we'll see what happens here or there. Um, but Airsoft Megasaur is the first one that's kind of come alongside me and worked with me a little bit. And then TAP is also throwing me a little bit. And then uh, Tough One Grips are really cool too. So keep in mind for the future, I will have coupon codes in the description so that you guys can like get discounts and stuff. I think Tough gives me 15% uh, of their pistol grips and then TAP gives me like 10% off any of their stuff. Next up we have... A belt for something that will actually come at the end of the video. So if you guys are smart, you'll understand this. Maybe see what this is. But this is a uh, AIP race belt. So you got the holster here. This is actually something that I, I like have seen in the past and never really understood. Um, and then you have three pistol mag holsters here. So this is like for ISPC and stuff. Um, it's got a Condor battle belt. I don't know much about these at all. I don't know how to set these up. This is a crazy contraption of a holster but i'm excited to be able to try and kind of play with that as well um up here we have a gun that like i wasn't exactly sure about it it's a um kind of it's a scorpion and so it's jg it has two little high caps that i got battery charger it does not have the selector switch however it doesn't look like it's been used that often and then i also have a drum mag in here but i don't exactly see it I'm probably get to it at some point, but this gun's kind of cool. It has a folding stock, so it opens up uh, here. You kind of have to whip it up a little bit, but it locks in place. And so it's not a very comfortable stock, but it's a cool little gun. And so we'll hopefully see if this gets working. I don't know if it will, but this is one of those guns. It's like, oh, wow, that's a cool little cute gun. Maybe you'd run that as like a secondary or something, um, but it's a, it's a cool little neat gun. So <laughs> that's kind of like one of those exciting little um, things you get in the box. He gave me a ton of mags. So these are the Evike BAMF mid caps. I think these hold 120. There's four of these that are there that are like, I think these are kind of cool mags. I've not used them. Sure shot midget says they shoot really well as far. There's the other mag for the uh, scorpion. Sure shot midget says they sh that it shoots well. Um, they feed really well at high rank or RPS. Uh, but this dude honestly has a lot of little stuff. Here's a shoulder holster. So I kind of tried to organize these a little bit, but as you can tell, 
it's kind of a lot of stuff so i'm just going to try and go through this as quick as possible and then we'll get to uh, the echo one gun he gave me a ton of batteries so there's a ton of batteries here uh some of them are like actually really high quality lipos like this is a an echo one lipo these are really awesome for the aries amoeba which you will see potentially later um there is also a giant 1500 round mag in here so this thing is crazy this is like just the giant um giant magazine this is one of the 1500 round drums that feeds in an m4 so you can put this in and it's like an electric winder i don't think it has batteries honestly it doesn't even look like it's been used so that'll be kind of cool to run but let's take a break from those and go to one of these guns uh, if i can get this out here this is a JG G36. This is something, I actually had a KWA one. I don't know if I even did a video of it when I had a KWA one. I think I did a video of it, but he pulled this out. I looked at it and I was like, oh, Tokyo Marine Magazine, is this a TM? And I felt it and I was like, no, nah, there's no trades, no ASGK on here. So I'm almost positive it's a JG. It feels like a JG. You can kind of tell with the build quality, like TM stuff's really good. But these mags alone are probably worth like 30 bucks to be honest. And then it has a cool little grip up here. I actually have no idea what brand this is, but I'm guessing it's stock and it's just, it's an, honestly a nice little grip. And I was kind of pleased with, it feels really good on the G36. I'm not a huge G36 fan, so I'll probably end up selling this um, because the mags, it's just really hard to use your the mags in M4 mag pouches and I can't carry as much. Uh, I know over in like Europe, a lot of people use the G36. They're as common as M4s are here because uh, in some of those countries they use that as like their primary weapon. Um, but that's cool. I got some random uppers too. This is actually kind of cool. I don't know what the heck this is. This kind of, this is like a tank front end. I don't know if it's GMP or Evite. I don't even know what brand this upper is, but it's all metal. And so I'm thinking this is either an Echo One or Matrix. I'm going to try and test it out with other lower receivers, but I saw it. I was like, wow, it's kind of a cool little thing, but I don't get how it has a gas block here and then has the flash hider with a gas block tube and it looks like this thing's been glued on as well so it's one of those things that's like okay like what happened there um here we have just a standard plastic m4 i think this is g and g i can't exactly tell but it's your just your basic uh, upper receiver and so it's decently nice um but just kind of works okay let's go through some more of the mags real quick um a yellow ak mag i don't know what it's a it's apparently a flash mag so you can whip down the bottom of this but i don't know why he spray painted it yellow or if it came yellow honestly it doesn't look like it's been spray painted it looks like it's actually um just come yellow but that's really weird because i'm not seeing any yellow ak's uh this is actually really cool this is a sight mark sight this is looks like it's brand new it's one of the zombie series so this is um just one of those reticles that you can throw up there so you got your red dot you have your different crosses and their circles and these sites are actually pretty high quality i've heard some people say that these actually hold decent zero on like uh real guns or like a 22 or something i know some can quality wise and offer that i also have a four uh my 32 scope so this is just a small little e-bike scope we have a lot of random stuff in here honestly which is cool but it's just a normal uh, scope and it has some mounting hardware in here that, again hasn't even been opened some of the stuff that I got from these this guy a lot of this is from this guy I've got some other guns like the guns I got from separate areas but this guy just has a lot of random kind of external parts so I'm going to move this a little bit and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this gun under here this is something I wasn't sure exactly what it was because it's like a kind of like a, a Vietnam style and four but it's like a kind of a weird Vietnam style for to be honest and, and you'll see that here in a second um but it's got the Vietnam style so you can tell here with the triangle handguard you can tell up here with the one piece upper receiver and it's got actually a rail mount on here too for on the carrying handle you have your Vietnam prong flash hider your standard grip this is like a shorty one the grip actually feels really good this foregrip um I'm not a huge fan of the triangle grips and they don't have any rails, obviously. But this is a cool little gun. And then this stock, watch what it does. It, like, shoots out. So it's like a spring-loaded stock. So it's a full stock, but it also, like, if you, if you hit it, it kind of extends. So I just thought that was one of those things. Is like, wow, it's a cool little, like, add-on. So if you want to kind of be here and then you just want to, like, hit it real quick to, to go like that. Because I would, I would honestly carry this for the most part. I'm going to carry this. Um, I would use this, like, fully extended because it gets really small down here. But it's just kind of cool that, like... It has a, a spring, and then you can put it in multiple positions as well. And then it has the old retro um, handle. It actually has the Vietnam short mags, 
And then one of these that I have not seen in a while has a Vietnam long style, so the flat style mags. So this would be a 10 and, and real, and this would be a 20 if it were shooting real. Um, and it has the flat style there. It might actually be a, I don't know if this one's a 30, but I know at least back in Vietnam they used a lot of 10 round and then uh, 30 round mags. And this just has a lot of like little external parts and stuff, comes with the orange cap. So I honestly don't, don't know if this gun had been used hardly at all. All right, we'll go back with some of the mags. It's another uh, M4 mag, M4 mag, M4 mag. All the high caps you could possibly desire. Um, this is a GMP mid cap, one of the metal mid caps. I think it's GMP. Um, yeah, it's GMP because it has that release right there. Some of the mid caps were loaded, so that was a little bit um, worrisome. This is a holster that works with a high cap. So I was really surprised at this because I know like the Serpa holsters I uh, actually have some other Serpa holsters in it, but they have Serpa holsters that you run and are easy to run, but this one's for a high kappa and there's not a whole lot because there's not a real high kappa. Um, so Matrix has made one that's kind of like a Serpa and has a the paddle design that I think is pretty cool. Um, we have an, a GMP mag, which is one of the ones I run. And then we have a, I think this is just a mag brand mid cap um, that's run there. Here are two more mags for the AW Custom. These are really nice. I don't know exactly why he got two extra ones if he didn't even open the gun. Maybe it came. He actually said he won that off of Evike or Airsoft GI, but those are two more CO2 mags. I'll throw it to Rob. Um, we got two chargers. So this is a smart charger for Tamiya stuff. This is a smart charger for LiPos. And so that works. Honestly, it's just cool to have extra chargers. This is an EOTech. This is a 5.5. Five, I don't exactly know the numbers, man. There's so many different kinds. But this is a 5.52 length. However, it has a different mounting hardware. So I don't know if that's considered like a, they have like 5.58s and stuff. And then it actually comes with a magnifier as well. And so this is just a rebranded magnifier. Same with the EOTex. It's hard to know exactly what brand any of those come from because so many different brands make them and they're probably made in the same factory to be honest but they're kind of cool. Next, we have a tracer unit. So this is super cool. I was excited to get this. He was like, oh yeah, I have, by the way, I have two tracer mags. So I have two Valken tracer mags, a brand new in box. And then he has a tracer um, unit too. And this is just an e-bike tracer unit. But I've always wanted to have a tracer unit, just never wanted to spend the money on one. So the fact that I got one here was pretty darn cool. Um, standard grip. And just, uh, there's two other mags. Um, we'll go ahead and get into that gun right now. So here's two mags for a crazy looking sniper rifle so i don't you guys can tell like look at the flash hider on this thing i'll get a close-up of it but this flash hider is monstrous and it actually looks really good on the gun i don't know how i feel about the camo job it looks okay it doesn't look like it's super well done um, but it works it works decently well so like um for what it is it's comfortable it's actually pretty comfortable because he's wrapped it around this uh, pistol grip here so this is pretty comfortable i like this and I think it works decently well. It just kind of looks a little awkward when you have like black and I guess it breaks up the pattern, um, but it has a stupid huge scope on this. I think this thing zooms up to like, pretty sure it's like 20, yeah, it's 24 times zoom. I don't know when I'll ever need that, if I'll ever need that, because I'm not an average. I play like a rifle style. I would love to get into sniping. However, this is not a good enough sniper to get into sniping, but it looks really cool externally. I don't exactly know what brand it is, um, I'm thinking it's either Well or JG or something like that. It's decently high quality, but it's nothing like TM or Maruzen or anything like that. And then I have two mags for that as well. Next up, we have a parts M4. So it's actually got a really nice rail system on here. It has the um, Knight's Armament style URX 13.5, I believe is what the length of this is. Yeah, because I think this is a 14.5 inch barrel. And so it's not licensed. I don't know if this is the old ones before they were licensed or what this is. However, it looks like it was put on here when it came. And this is like a really crappy combat machine upper receiver. So I don't know why you put a super nice rail system on a plastic upper receiver. I know it cut costs, but I'm pretty sure these came together. And then I have no idea if this works, but this is a combat machine lower with pretty much all stock combat machine stuff from what I can see on the outside. It's got stock combat machine wiring, but if I can get that up and working, I can kind of create a cool little gun. I like, honestly, like, um, Chichard Armage that loves teching on guns, and so it's cool to work on. Here is that Evo drum from earlier, and then I just have some speed loaders in there. This is a gun that I'm super, super excited for. I had no clue. I saw this in the description. I was like, 
wow, that's really cool. Like, but would I ever use that? I, to be honest, I have no clue if we'll ever use this, but it is awesome. This is an Eviper Matrix um, Bar 10. So if you guys have been playing World War II recently, you're probably going to hate this. Because honestly, when I saw it, I was like, oh, shoot. The first thing I went through was triggered from World War II. Um, hopefully, they've come out with like a nerf for it. But the bar is so overpowered in that game, it is insane. However, the real one, or the real Airsoft version, gosh, this thing is huge. Um, the real... Airsoft version of this looks really, really cool. <laughs> Dang, this thing is massive. I have no idea how much this was, but it's real wood and it's real metal. I had no idea these guns were that big in real life. That's insane. I figured, like, I, I get it that the bar was big, but, like, that's a that's a big piece of metal. That's a giant, like, a giant piece of metal. And people would carry these. I can't imagine kind of, like, running around and carrying one of these. This site looks pretty cool. You got your giant metal prongs here. I'm guessing these tighten down with that. Yeah, so this is one of those guns that's like, I don't know if I'll ever run this or ever use this, but it looks awesome and it's like one of those shelf pieces. If any of you have ever run one of these in game, um, you're a legend. And especially for those people, like I don't run any World War II situations or stuff. In fact, there's not a whole lot of people that even use these anymore. I remember when I started in Airsoft, there were actually a lot of people that used to run kits and stuff that would be World War II replica, but honestly, I don't see much of those anymore. So I appreciate that. I think that's awesome, but I just kind of one of those things that like hasn't been done for a while. Next up, I know this is long, guys. Stick with me.